tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Fast Cabling, where we dive deep into the world of tech and bring you practical solutions to real-life tech challenges. Today in this video, we've got a fascinating case study involving a countryside estate, modern tech, and a quest for seamless connectivity. So let's get right into it. So our client, Mr. T, owns a large estate with the main house positioned centrally on the property. And recently, he acquired an additional parcel of land that's 500 meters away from the main house, where he plans to build a guest house and a small workshop. And the area is currently under development, but Mr. T wants to ensure robust connectivity for various purposes, including security monitoring with IP cameras and wireless access points for internet access. So Mr. T reaches out to us and explaining his vision of extending the network to the guest cottage. During the consultation, he outlines his requirements, emphasizing the need for a robust network. So based on Mr. T's requirement, we design tailored network solution that ensures seamless connectivity between the main house and the guest cottage. And for all our viewers, you can also take advantage of our free tag design offer and start your journey toward a seamless and efficient tag setup. And we're excited to help you transform your tag dreams into reality. So the typical solution here would be using a PoE extender. Since copper cable has a distance limitation of 100 meters, so you add a PoE extender to extend the signal for another 100 meter. However, extending PoE over 500 meters would usually require installing multiple extenders in this case, around four of them. But chaining extenders can introduce a single point of failure, which is something that we want to avoid. Plus, managing multiple extenders can get complicated. So we consider a more robust solution. Now let's go check it out on our demonstration board. So we decided to use two long-range PoE switches, one at each location. So first we're going to place one here at the main house, and then we're going to place another long-range PoE switch at the cottage. And this approach only requires a single Ethernet cable to be buried between the main house and the cottage. Only one single Ethernet cable. So sounds perfect, right? Now I'm going to show you this is a live video by waving my hand to the bullet camera that connected 500 meters away. Now this approach indeed covered the 500 meter distance with ease, but there's a catch. While it provides a continuous connection, the long range PoE solution supports speed of up to 100 megabit per second. But for Mr. T's need, which include high definition video from IP cameras and high data transfer rate for his workhouse, 100 megabit per second may just not not enough. So that brings us to the ultimate solution, fiber optic cables. Now with fiber optics, distance and speed are no longer issues. Fiber optic cable can transmit data over kilometers without loss in quality and offer speed that can go up to gigabit per second. And fiber optic cables also provide significantly higher bandwidth than copper cables. This allows them to support the ever increasing demand for speed and data capacity in both commercial and residential internet use. And they're also more secure from a data security perspective. The data that they carry can transmit using light, so making it extremely difficult to tap compared to the traditional copper cables. And this aspect is crucial for maintaining the integrity of the data being transferred, especially in a sensitive environment. But how do we set it up? So let's break it down. First, you need a fiber optic cable. 
specifically one that's pre-made for outdoor use to withstand the environmental factors between the main house and the cottage like ours. The pre-made or pre-terminated fiber optic cables come ready to install which greatly simplify the installation process. There are no need for on-site fiber termination or specialized skills which can reduce labor costs and eliminate potential errors associated with the field termination. So next, we'll need the media converters, and we'll need a pair of them, one at each location. These devices convert the fiber optic light signal back and forth into electrical signal that your network devices can understand. And then, there are SFP modules. Now, these are essential for interfacing your network equipment with the fiber optic system. They're plugged into the network device like our media converters to allow them to connect connect to the fiber optic cables, since there are plenty types of fiber optic connectors. So with all this component, now Mr. T's network was not only able to reach the guest cottage efficiently, but also provided high-speed, reliable connectivity that supported all his requirements. So let's do the connection together. So let's do the connection from Mr. T's main house. This is the router. It is already powered up and connected to the modem to get internet access. Beneath it, we have an NVR, that's Network Video Recorder. He has multiple surveillance cameras, so he'll need this to display the video footage. It is already connected to a large screen monitor using the HDMI cable and it's power up as well. So next I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect the router to the NVR first. So now they're in the same system. Then I'm going to use another short patch cord to connect the router to get internet access to our media converter. Remember, our media converter can convert the electrical signal into fiber optical signal. So plug in the short patch cord from the router. It is already powered up. And now I'm going to connect with the fiber optic cable using this SFP module. This is where we connect with it. Plug it into the media converter. Today we are using a full string LC connector single mode fiber optic cable. So let's use string B. Each string has a letter on them so you won't mix them up. Just plug it into the SFP module and it's that simple. So this side, we are all set and done. We have the 500 meters fiber optic cable. Coming over to the cottage side, we are going to do the exact same thing. Plug in the SFP module, find string B, plug it in, and it's already powered up. Use a short patched cord to connect it, so the data now is transferring through this Ethernet cable, and we're able to connect to a wireless access point or bullet camera. Now I'm going to plug in the bullet camera so you can see the live video footage. Here we go, looking at our big screen monitor. Now I am moving around so you can see this is absolutely a live video from all the way from this main house that's 500 meters away. Now if you have multiple devices like Mr. T, we also recommend you to add a switch with the SFP port so you can use fiber optic cable. In this case, you won't need another media converter. You can just plug in the fiber optic cable directly to the switch and then you're able to add multiple devices to this network. So fiber optics might sound like a high-end solution, but for a scenario like Mr. T, it's the most reliable and future-proof option. And it's an investment into the infrastructure that pays off with unmatched speed and stability. So that wraps up our case study for today. If you're considering a similar setup or have any questions about networking over a long distances, feel free to drop a comment below 
and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all things tech. And until next time, keep innovating, and I'll see you in the next video.